Hey guys, so welcome back. I don't know how well you can hear me. Basically, I'm in this coffee shop, but look how nice this coffee shop. I love coming here. Um, the vibes are just really nice. It's just like an independent coffee shop that I normally come to, but I'll show you. Basically, I'm just on my lunch break right now. Can you see this? Yeah. So basically, I'm just on my lunch break right now. I'm just having a coffee and um, a packed lunch, just like a sandwich and everything and a pear. And so yeah, that's on my lunch. I've got about half, no, about 20 minutes left. I don't know well how well you can hear me, but I'll just let you know what my day was like today. So in the morning, I was on the shop floor and then, I had to do a sight test, so I did a sight test. Everything was okay up until bulk. I don't know, I'm finding it so hard. They had quite small pupils, and there was a lot of reflection, so I think that's why I found it hard, but I don't know, I definitely need to work on my bulk. And then I think I'm just on shop floor for the rest of the afternoon, which I don't mind because it's quite, it's quite relaxing. I find me being in the testing room, it's just stress man, so I'm gonna be on chop floor and I think I'll try and do a couple of dispensers. I need to practice my very focal dispense, so I'll definitely be doing that. And that's it, today has been quite okay, like I haven't really done much. I definitely need to sort my life out when I go home, like I'm so behind with everything, but I'll let you know how that is when I go home. I'll explain yeah, I'll explain everything when I go home because right now I'm just lost right now, like genuinely So I need to go into Ryman's just to get myself like a diary because um low key I really need to organise my life so that is what I'm gonna do. I only have about five minutes left so I'm gonna quickly get this done and then back to actually shut down so definitely can't do that now so i'm just gonna see where else i can go hey guys welcome back so i think i last spoke to you yesterday so again i'll just kind of update you on what i did today um so today i was just on the shop floor i did um a few dispensers today some are just normal single vision distance um i had a gentleman come in for um, single he wanted he didn't want very focals he wanted single vision distance and a pair for single and a pair for near so I dispensed those and I did a child fit today so that was good and apart from that I also did a visual field so that was good it's just kind of again getting used to everything and then my supervisor just went through with me um the contact lens and um, fit kind of on the system because obviously at uni we used to just write everything down on pieces of paper um, so the, he was just going through the system with me, how to put everything on the system. Home today, I was like, you know what, I really need to start doing some work. Like, I actually need to start going over everything. Because right now, your girl knows nothing, like legit nothing. So I was like, you know what, I need to actually start. So I've just kind of been getting my head around the whole pre-reg thing. I should have done this ages ago, but I was just seeing what I need to do for each of the stages. Um, I'm just kind of, you know, trying to just get as much information as I can. It's kind of low-key last minute, but I'm just going to do that. And then apart from that, I mean, it's already it's like 10 right now. 10.15. So I'm only only going to still my laptop for another like half an hour, 40 minutes, if that. And then I'm going to go to bed because... I'm tired and I've got work tomorrow so I was like I'm just gonna do a bit more and then hey guys I feel like I haven't spoken on here for ages because honestly I've just been so busy with everything right so um I don't know where I last left in the last clip but anyway I'll just update you on what I've been doing this week so this week I saw a few more patients so especially for dispensers I've been doing a lot more dispensers um and I had like an EOS appointment. So what this basically means is that a patient will come in with a specific problem. You not you don't necessarily need to do everything, things like refraction. It's mainly like the health check that you'll be coming in for. So they'll come in with like a specific problem, for example, like a a bacterial infection or they've get in um they wake up with a red eye or itchy eye. Do you know what I mean? So it's like a kind of a like a symptom-led appointment so I had one of those so that was quite interesting 
Um, so obviously you just carry out all the relevant checks that you would normally do. And then I'm starting to fill in my logbook now because obviously every patient that you see, um, you fill in on like this Excel document that the college have provided, I'll, I'll show you. So what you do, every single patient, you either get, I think it's a customer number or TR number depending on how it works, you type that in, you see what type of appointment it was, so whether it was like a refraction, contact lens, contact lens aftercare or a dispense. And then there's certain numbers that you need to hit before your stage one. So I think for us, um, right now, I will show you what it looks like. So yeah, this is what the logbook looks like. So basically, these are, you need a minimum of 520 patient encounters over the next um, few months. So obviously for refraction, the minimum you need is 275. You need a minimum of 80 contact lenses and a minimum of 60 dispensers dispenses and um other is obviously um five so these are all the ones that you need to get this is the maximum number and obviously you need at least 520 you then have got things like certain characteristics that the assessor will look for so like pediatric presbyopes pre-presbyopes if it's a soft fit aftercare all that kind of stuff referrals mydratic cycloplegics all that kind of stuff and then um you will then see over here, these are some type of characteristics you need to get. So for example, paediatrics, presbyopics, people who, are, people who are over 60, who you've done contact tonometry on, who you've dilated. So these are all the ones the numbers that you need to hit before you finish your stage one. So it's like the quicker you hit them, the quicker you can get signed yeah. off stage one. Um, I really need to get on with stage one revision. Honestly, I've been so bad with that. I just can't find the motivation to actually revise it's so bad because i know what i need to do and i know how much work i need to do and i just can't get myself to sit here and just do it i, don't, I actually don't know what's wrong with me and then um i'm just gonna fill in my logbook now because i've got a lot to fill out right now and i need to put in a lot of information but yeah it is hard i think the main thing is it's just a revision aspect it's hard if you just had to go to work and just do all the normal tests and obviously it's not that bad but because you have to come back and revise and i know it's going to be worth it but it's actually just it's just hard just self-motivating yourself i think that's that's literally it but i'm going to try and see how much i can get done now i'm just going to do some i need to just yeah i'm going to fill up my logbook and try and plan my revision or plan like my notes that i need to start making and then we'll see how we go on 